Dear students, distinguished educationists, dignitaries, honorable members on the dais, ladies and gentlemen, at the outset, let me express briefly as to how God Almighty showered His grace to establish this university. For many years, I have been dreaming of establishing a dedicated university highlighting the Indian culture, traditional values, and Indian knowledge system. But unfortunately, we were unable to take any step forward due to the hurdles of very rigid and adverse national education policy prevailing at that time. However, suddenly I had the privilege of meeting with Sri Mukandji, Joint General Secretary, RSS, in 2020, who informed that they have planned to establish such a university with truly Indian in spirit. He also revealed the new educational policy which fully meets with our ambition, as announced by the current government. I was really very delighted and got a copy of the policy and studied the contents with satisfaction. Eventually, we decided to go ahead without any delay or hesitation. But our prime decision was to have unique university not like other normal universities which are many in number. There is no use for normal universities. No fee will be start from with a proposed modern infrastructure of two lakh square meters built up area including academic building, residential facilities and other common facilities, students and faculty members will excel in their chosen field. It is heartening to note that the project is progressing very well and that the students have already been enrolled and academic program has started in a rented, well-established, well-furnished institution nearby so that by next year, students can move to the newly constructed Sanak University campus. I'm sure the students who are privileged to study in this prestigious university will develop skill and knowledge in effective functioning both for the welfare of the society and the industry. I hope the students will be imparted with not only academic excellence, but also the virtues of our rich heritage, which is lacking presently due to commercialization of educational system. This unique temple of learning is being established and run by charitable trust with funds collected from public as donation having no commercial angle and not for profit. This has been also mentioned by Sri MP Kumar very clearly. The management has plans to care for the low-income group by providing scholarship to such brilliant and deserving students. Besides, no fee will be charged from the students belonging to poor families to the extent possible. Since benevolent donors are expected to come forward and share the contribution substantially. This news about Tanaki University has reached 
other cities like Delhi, Bombay also, and the people are awakened now. They are willing to come forward. Result has yet to be made. More emphasis will be on quality and value-added education. As per plan, it is a long journey and much has to be done before reaching the destination because philanthropy teaches service to humanity and not earning money. I congratulate the steering committee members, Professor M.K. Sridhar, Sri M.P. Kumar and Nagraj Reddy for their untiring efforts in all-round planning and making Tanak University a reality. I also wish the students a bright future and I hope the Tanak University will rise to the occasion and make the students not only excel in their chosen field but also in humanitarian service. Thank you very much.